This course is going to be about plugin called IdeaVim, and this plugin brings Vim functionality into JetBrains IDEs. So if you're new to Vim or have never heard of this editor, this course is not for you. But if you already used Vim for some time and want to try Vim inside JetBrains IDEs, this course will be relevant. During the course I'm also going to explain each setting from the Vim configuration file that we will use to configure Idea Vim plugin and demonstrate custom Vim mappings that I use to be more productive when using JetBrains IDE. And by the way, I'm going to use PHP Storm to demonstrate all examples, but everything will be just as applicable to other JetBrains IDEs. So let's get started. First of all, we of course have to install Idea Vim plugin. Let's open up settings. Here let's go into plugins section and search for Idea Vim plugin. Then let's click on this button install and wait until installation is finished. All configuration of the Idea Vim plugin happens inside .ideavimrc configuration file that we have to place inside current user's working directory. So I'm going to create file with the name .ideavimrc in my user's home folder, and then I will open up this newly created file inside PHP Storm. And right after we have installed Idea Vim plugin, most of the Vim functionality should already be available for us. For example, to move around the file we can use keys H, J, K and L, just like in Vim. But I have actually gotten used to another mappings to move around the file, so first of all I'm going to reassign motion keys. I prefer to use J, K, L, semicolon instead of Vim default motion keys to move around the file. So basically to me all motion keys will be shifted one key to the right. I am doing that just to keep right hand always at the standard position for typing, where index finger will be always on top of J key. So in here I am defining the following mappings. To move to the left I am gonna use J instead of H, to move down I will use K instead of J, to move up I will use L instead of K, and finally to move to the right I am gonna use semicolon instead of L. And always when we do any kinds of modifications to the IdeaVim RC configuration file, in order for those changes to take effect we have to read this file again, and we do so by running the following command. Let's activate vim command mode first by pressing colon, and then to read this configuration file we're gonna use source command, and specify proper path to the configuration file. And after that, if I'll try to navigate around the file by using new keys, as you can see it is working. So let's move on. The next mapping that I'm going to redefine in here will be the mapping responsible for navigating to the next occurrence of the character on the same line. Usually in Vim when we search for certain characters at the same line we press F and then the character that we'd like to search for. And after that, to go to the next occurrence of the same character, we can press semicolon. But since I have already redefined semicolon to be responsible for navigating to the right, I'm going to use quotation mark instead of semicolon to go to the next occurrence of a certain character. So let's source this configuration file once again for the changes to take effect. And also when we enter Vim's command mode by pressing colon, in here we can use arrow up and down to navigate between recently executed commands. So I'll press arrow up once and execute this source command again. And now for example I'd like to quickly jump to the first occurrence of the letter A on this line. To do that I have to press F and then that letter I'd like to navigate to. And if I'll keep pressing quotation mark I'll jump to the next occurrence of this character on the same line, so that new mapping is working. And to jump backward in the opposite direction, we can use comma, this is the default key. Next one, let's switch over to configuration file, and here I'm going to add the mapping 
which will be responsible for redoing the actions. By default, to undo changes, we can use letter U by default. But to redo, we have to press Ctrl R combination. This combination is quite difficult for me to press, so I prefer to use capital letter U to redo. So I'm gonna define such mapping in here. Let's source this configuration file once again. And now after pressing U, we can see that those changes are discarded. And if I'll press capital U, those changes are applied again. Let's finish up this initial lesson at this point and continue configuring idea of in plugin in the next one. Link to the repository with this configuration file will be in the video description.